you, Newt. <laughs> Bye. But do you think if Ron Paul wins in Iowa that 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 uh, Newt's not going to have negative ads when he when they go from New Hampshire? I don't know. See, that's that confuses me completely. In fact, I have a question here. What happens when Paul if Paul wins Iowa? Because and below it, I wrote panic. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't understand. I mean, look, maybe Republicans, I know this is difficult for a party that's not super bright, but ask themselves, why does this 70-ish weird guy yeah. have all this support? Like, yeah. what is he saying that's resonating? And by the way, how can we address those concerns? Like, maybe people do care about the Fed yeah. and soft money. Maybe they're not happy with Afghanistan. I mean, like, think this through a little there, bit. There, that's yeah. the problem with Paul, though. There are, out of the, there are 60% of what he says, really interesting stuff. I mean, I, 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 he's a small government guy. You know, he wants us to just get back to toiling our garden. Yes. Everybody likes that idea. But then he... How do you explain it, Andrew? The other 40% is a little wacky. Well, there's a percentage of this country that's crazy. Mm -hmm. And the crazy people, they're going to have somewhere to go in Ron Paul. I do agree with Tucker, though. I mean, when his book first came out, and the Fed, I'm like, what the heck is he talking about? Mm -hmm. And a lot of other people. But a lot of the things that he says, you shake your head, you go, huh. He's consistent, sometimes consistently crazy in his mm -hmm. foreign policy comments. But his supporters are so energetic. So in a state that where an organization is important like Iowa, he could win. That's why he wins the CPAC. Conservative yeah. Political Action Committee conference. I think he may be Mitt Romney's secret weapon because he can run ends against Newt. If he places ahead of Newt in Iowa, he could knock him out. Good point. So Mitt yeah. Romney says, look, crazy guy. Yeah, you know what? I, my, I, my problem with Ron Paul fans is that they, they ignore anything positive you say about Ron Paul. That's true. And only hear the negative. So if you say, like, Ron Paul did this good, Ron Paul did that good, it just goes, and then, they, and then you say, but I don't like what he said, talks about Iran. Yeah. Then they just go, ape, I hate ape you. Poop. Yeah, I, I am going to get so much. I don't know what it is. I don't know what that is. They're like Amway. Because yeah. no one takes them seriously, yeah. and they're frustrated by but it. But we we talk about that. We talk about Ron Paul at least three or four times a year. <laughs> also, he, also he presents himself and his body language as Mr. Burns' kinder, simple brother. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. true. Yeah. It never made it money wise. Yeah. I can't. I mean, I can't say that I should tell, give him any fashion tips, but he just needs to. I think. Pull the jacket down. But that's uh, the point. He's not a phony. That's and in true. a yeah. field of just transparent yeah. phonies, all these guys are BS artists. It's so obvious. Yeah. Whatever you think of Ron Paul, crazy, but totally sincere. All well, right. his eyebrows are phony. But the rest of him, legit. Uh, really? His eyebrows are beautiful. You think those are waxed They're and shaped? Little dashing. All right. Uh, Tucker, you said maybe the Republican Party should take a look at why Ron Paul has this much support. I, my theory is I think a lot of people enjoy racist newsletters. Oh, <laughs> huge. Yeah. The, the kids love no, the racist absolutely. newsletters. Absolutely. It's, it's an really underserved no market, Tucker. <laughs> it's an underserved no, market. No, but if Ron Paul is, look at the guy. I mean, there's never been a more poorly marketed candidate in the history of politics. Yeah. What is the reason? I'm not sure I know, but it's worth looking at. Right. No, I, I actually, I, I made my little joke, but I actually agree with you. He's clearly a lot of what he says is resonating with a, with a decent percentage of people. Bob Beck always compares it to the Pat Robertson uh, campaign. Yeah, I guess. I, I think Paul's support is a little bigger than Robertson's. Maybe. Robertson, yeah. who also won Iowa in 1988. Right. Yeah. Did he win or come in second? I, I think he won, but then... I was in college, so it's possible. I missed yeah. it. I think I came in second. Dude, we he were won. partying pretty hard Dude. back then. Yeah. All right. I, would also, I would also add that instead of hitting delete and making fun of my racist newsletters, maybe you guys should read them. <laughs> I learned something. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. I've got them at home. Oh, all right. <laughs> excellent. Not the Guardian, though. But the weird thing about yeah. Bill is they're actually called my racist newsletters. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You don't even yeah. bother hiding the facts. Rule number one in racist newsletters, you got to hit them on the subject header. <laughs> you got to say exactly what's what. Also, I like the backwards R in racist makes it cute. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you got to see some Desist. You got to cease and desist from Toys R Us. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. 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 But then they read the newsletters. They're like, he's got some points. Yes, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Because you know that giraffe is some oh. bigot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Andrea, you referred to Paul's supporters as energetic. I can think of some other words. <laughs> You can do that. You're absolutely welcome. I've been on the receiving end of those emails, and Me my, too. <laughs> my inbox is full. So I'm going to go yeah. with energetic, All Andy. Right. As you can okay. see, I've tweaked my passionate, too. Very. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, I like that the uh, code is always passionate. Yeah. They're so passionate. Yeah. Yeah, you don't, don't really have to be an a-hole. You, if you, if, 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 if you don't like somebody's opinion, you don't have to start screaming names at them. Are you talking to me? No, I don't know who I was talking to. <laughs> okay.